Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. This is going to be a quick news and updates video, and we're also going to do the draw to give away this copy of Vault Wars. First thing I wanted to mention was Chaz Charlton, the gentleman who has created all of the custom music that we featured here on this channel, is now releasing some of those shorter song clips into full version songs that you can buy over at Bandcamp. I'll put a link to them in the description of this video. Right now he has the full music for Mice and Mystics and Goblin Horde, and I'm sure he'll do more if he sees some support there. And I'd love for him to get some support because he's done just a wonderful job enhancing the videos here on our channel. So consider checking them out, especially if you'd love some music to play in the background during your gaming sessions to just enhance the experience. Okay, next I want to remind you again about Periscope because I love Periscope. This is an app that allows me to create content live on the fly, so if you're following me, you'll get notified of it, you can jump on, you can watch as it's happening, you can ask questions as it's happening, so it's interactive, and if you miss it, you have 24 hours to watch it, and then it's gone forever. So that allows me to create content for things that's a little less polished than I would want here for YouTube proper, but it allows me to cover content that I also probably wouldn't otherwise get to. Expansions for games, unboxings. Sometimes I'll do full instructionals for games that I just know, again, I'm not going to be able to feature on the channel with my current schedule. Sometimes I do gameplay, I'll do questions and answers. I'll take a look behind the scenes here at Watch It Played if you're curious to see how things get created. If you want to ask questions, I can answer them. And sometimes when I go on trips to conventions and things, I'll also live stream. So you can join me vicariously. So if that seems interesting to you, Google Periscope, download the app, follow at Watch It Played, and I will always try to ensure that the content has something to do about board games. So if you see a notification, you know it's going to be something hopefully that's relevant to your interests. And there's lots of other great board game media creators who are also starting to use Periscope. I love following Marty from Rolling Dice and Taking Names. He often will talk about games after he's played them to sort of give his impression along with his family's impression. So check him out. The Dice Tower is also using Periscope as well, and I'm sure many more will be doing so in the future. I also wanted to mention that next week, relative to the time of this recording, I'm going to be traveling to GTS Distribution's Come and Play Day in Atlanta. This is a closed event that brings publishers and retailers together. It allows publishers to preview games that they have out and that will be coming out to retailers who might want to stock them on their shelves. It lets retailers ask questions to publishers, talk about organized play. It's, it's a business event, essentially, and each year GTS has me come down. I sit down with a variety of the publishers there, and we record some video previews of games that they have out or that are going to be coming out that I can bring back and share with you. And I usually try to sneak in a little sample of gameplay as well, so it has that watch it played touch to it. So that's something that's going to take me away from creating the regular content next week, but when I get back, I'll of course be back to work on the how to plays and the gameplay videos, and there'll also be these previews you'll see start popping up as well. And I'll probably periscope a little while I'm there, so although it's a closed event, you can join me vicariously. Okay, last thing, we ran a contest to give away this already opened, but in very good condition, copy of Vault Wars. I actually ran this contest a while ago, and it ended a while ago, and I just had trouble finding a time to create this video to announce the winner. So let's draw for that right now. And the winner, drawn randomly from our contest app, is Kevin Maloney. Congratulations, Kevin. I'm gonna send you an email, confirm your mailing address, and then send this out to you as soon as possible. Speaking of which, that is the last contest that we'll be having as part of season four of Watch It Played. We've had our season five fundraiser, it's over now. And anyone who donated at the $15 level or higher is going to be automatically entered into any contest we have during Season 5. So if there are some entry requirements in contests, you can ignore them because you're automatically entered. I should also mention that the surveys for the fundraiser have started going out, but do not email me if you have not received yours yet. They're still going out. It's going to take a few days for them to get out to everyone there's only one of me and many, many, many of you, so please don't write me until October 22nd. If it's October 22nd and you've checked your junk folder and you checked your inbox and you've received nothing from me, then certainly at that time, get in touch. We'll figure out what happened. That's everything, folks. Until the next episode, thanks for watching.